Okay, I'm Neus and here with Nicole, uh, we've been on the island to continue with the restoration project. Uh, Annie Cantor already, uh, they did the baseline to do this project. They did a very good assessment of the coral genus on the island and the distribution. And then we continued. Uh, we started the restoration action itself, uh, which uh, we used the, the data that Anika and Thor collected. Uh, we choose uh, cropper species because it's a fast growing species and uh, it was present in all the bays. Yeah, and then we set up uh, three coral nurseries. Uh, we set them up in Eagle Bay, uh, Moken Bay, and Sisters Bay, Sisters Bay East. And we used floating rope nurseries for our baby corals. They're not completely free floating nurseries, so that means they're attached to the bottom, but at the same time we use recycled plastic bottles to raise the nursery above the seafloor so that they're protected um, from all the coral predators such as uh, the crown of thorns starfish mainly. Sea snails. Sea snails, yeah, and other things. So anyway, so we have those three coral nurseries now in place. And the whole idea was not really to restore the reefs so much here because at the moment they're in quite good shape. There's the coral coverage and diversity is still pretty good. But um, with increasing sea surface temperatures and climate change, it's quite impossible for um, the reefs here to avoid increased seawater temperatures. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to create corals that are a bit more resilient to changes in temperature so that in the future when there's a global bleaching event, when the water becomes too warm, not all of the corals will die off. So what we're doing is we're trying to select corals that are already um, growing in warmer waters. That means that we're collecting corals from the shallow areas where, where there is warmer water. Yeah. So we're taking these um, baby corals and we're putting them into the coral nursery. Also the coral nursery is relatively in shallow water, so we're going to be growing them in relatively warmer waters um, so that they're more adapted in the future of climate change. And so I think what in next year, next yes. year we'll probably... So we will let them grow for one year, we expect them to grow about 10-12 centimeters. And then uh, next year uh, we will outplant it. To the, them to the reef but the the whole idea is not to replant the reef because that's not feasible yeah. the idea is to have uh, hot spots of these uh, stronger more resilient corals that uh, with time will sexually reproduce and, uh, and repopulate the reef with more yeah, resilient, resilient corals. corals because if we don't do this it might happen that all of these beautiful coral reefs that are around here they might all just die or most of them might die in one bleaching event which is what we have been seeing in coral reefs in other places around the world so it's more of a preparation for the future in the face of climate change and uh, coming soon the third part of the project we will tell you I saw us too No more clouds No more rain I need sun To ease my pain Before this night is over I will guide you home
start now. Gonna, you're not gonna do any Whatever, you can cut. Okay. Take one. 